Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this episode of UP Action Outdoors. Today, as you can see, heading out hunting. Going out after some small game. <clears throat> I'm hoping to get some woodcock. I don't know if I will be able to. I went out last night expecting to be able to get some and I scared up just one and missed him. But hopefully I'll have better success today. If we don't get woodcock though, maybe we'll get grouse or squirrel. We'll see. Hopefully something. But I also have a turkey license, so if we see a turkey that's a possibility but for now I'm gonna load up the shotgun here I'm using this semi-automatic because it's plugged to three shots um, for woodcock you can only have three shots so that's what we're using today so we're gonna head on out there and see if we can't get some I'm doing most gonna be doing most of my filming on my head camera which I'll get out here in a minute but let's get out there and see if we can't find some critters Locked and loaded. Let's go get them. It's pretty thick here. The ferns are about as high as my head. But hopefully that's where the woodcock like to hang out. Alright, I just seen one. I totally missed the shot. Let's see if we jump him again here. Probably a good hour. I don't know what time it is right now. Let's see if I can find my phone. Six o'clock, so yeah, about an hour. I walked through one clear cut and sat for a while. I just scared that one woodcock up about five minutes, five, ten minutes into hunting, so coming up to another real small clear cut. Still a little ways ahead of me, but hopefully there'll be a partridge or something in it. We'll see. This clear cut's kind of right on the edge of a creek. The creek's down the hill, though. It's a little ways away from the creek, but... Seems like to be something out here if I'm careful and watch. It's just a little clearing. Alright, I just jumped when I'm back in the first clearing. I started and I'm pretty sure I smoked him. The biggest part now is just gonna be finding them. Fell right in here somewhere. It won't be hard to find. Just gonna have to get down on my hands and knees every once in a while. Look through the bushes. These ferns are so thick. It's crazy. <laughs> Can't be far. I seen right where he went down. looking for him. <laughs> He's right there.
There he is. There we go, first woodcock ever. I think I winged him. Boy, they're tiny. Look at that. Long beak. Alright. It's exciting. Clear out a pocket here to put him in. Let's go see if we can't get one more or two more. We can get three total today. So. <coughs> I think what I'm going to do is once I get done hunting, whatever I get, we'll probably take it back, clean it up, and maybe do a little catch and cook. I've never had woodcock before, so it should be pretty exciting. Best part about woodcock hunting is, do we have another shell? Is they always jump like right there, like you'd be like five feet from them when they come up, and you just swing over to them and shoot them. But all right, let's go see if we can't find another one. Alright, I just jumped another one. I saw exactly where he landed. So, I'm gonna pull in here and shoot him. update here <laughs> my head cam ran out of battery so I'm charging that <laughs> right now I'm just taking a little break it's hard work walking through all that ferns I probably walked a good mile now not all through ferns the trails and stuff but <laughs> walked a mile but I'm pretty close to where I started just walk this way walk that way turn around and walk another way but season closes at like 7 something towards 740 739 or something I think so I got one it's like 650 now I think Let's see if I can find the time I guess I can't while I'm talking but it's gonna give the head cam a little while to charge and hopefully go get another one we jumped three missed one shot one and didn't even shoot at another but Hopefully we'll get another one soon. Alright, well the head cam's had a little while to charge. I'm ready to go back out and see if I can't find a few more. So we're gonna keep hiking through this thick stuff and see if we can't scare up a couple. Alright, well I literally like just finished that. Just scared one up, but I seen right where it landed. So, we're gonna get him, I hope. Hopefully on camera too. See, I gotta get on an angle where I can actually, when he flies, get a decent shot and see where he dies. Better right up here by this maple tree.
wonder if they run along the ground or what. Ooh, I think I might have grazed him, but I'm not sure. Thought I seen some feathers. It's hard to tell. We'll go take a quick look. If I hit him, he would have landed right in here. Just heard another one take off, not sure where. I'm gonna have to do the hands and knees crawl thing. I'm gonna... This isn't quite as easy. Well, I'm going to be crawling around for a minute here, just to make sure I didn't hit him and find him if I did. I don't want to lose Woodcock, so I'm going to shut the camera off and let you guys know if I find anything. Alright, well, I'm just tying up my shoe here. Um, I just crawled around the area. I've seen it drop in here for like 10, to, probably 10 or 15 minutes, and he's not here, so it must have been a clean miss, but... Must have been some leaves or something I've seen. But we're gonna get back after him and see if we can't find another one. Alright, well, one just jumped in front of me. I pulled it. I know I blasted this one. Of course, I didn't get it on camera again. Went down right at me. Inside the pines here. It's just a matter of finding him. There he is, right there. Smoked him. Hopefully he's still got some good meat in him, we'll see. There we go. <laughs> Hit him square, so hopefully he's still good. Sink it, Woodcock. Let's get one more. Still got about 20 30 minutes left to hunt, I think. It's right, we're jumping him. We ought to be able to. <clears throat> Let's keep hiking. Alright, well, just jumped one more. It's almost the end of hunting time. Back to filming on the phone. My other camera died. Just curling around looking for this last woodcock. There he is, right here. Look at that. Look at how hard that is to see. Under a leaf. That's a nice big one. Full belly. All right. Glad I found that one. That's hard to find right there. And pretty sure season is closed now. But, or for the night anyway. That's all I needed. That's three woodcock. See if I can get this turned around so you can see me instead of. Alright, well, I'm gonna start hiking out of the woods, unload the gun here. Head on out. We got our limit of woodcock. It's exciting. I've never done much woodcock hunting. Been out a couple times, once actually, pretty much. Never got anything. Could have done better tonight, missed a few, but that's alright. Let's take these guys back, clean them up, and cook them up and see how they taste. I've never had woodcock before. All right, there's the three woodcock. This one's quite a bit bigger than the other ones. It might just be its belly's full, but. <laughs> we'll see, I'm gonna clean them up real quick here. I've never cleaned woodcock, so we'll see how it goes, but I don't think YouTube's gonna like me if I show you how I do it, so I'm gonna do it like this. 
All right, well, there they are. This one I could only save just the breasts because he was so shot up, but these two have the legs and stuff on them, but I wasn't trying to waste meat, but that one was just a lot of bullet holes, so. All right, let's go cook them up. Okay, well, here we are, a pan. Um, this is actually a couple days later than I shot the woodcock. I gave him a few days in the at refrigerator temperature. So now we're gonna cook them up. First, I'm gonna cook some bacon up in the pan. Hopefully be able to use the grease from the bacon to cook the woodcock. Um, I have no clue how to cook bacon, so I googled whether or not we had to add grease, and I Google wasn't really helpful, so hopefully we don't have to add grease, but I don't know how to cook anything, I guess. A few strips of bacon in there. Probably should have cut them so they're not so long. Alright, now I'm going to take these little woodcocks, wrap them in bacon, put some salt and pepper on them, and once that bacon's done, we'll flip them in there. Alright, the bacon's all cooked up there. We got a bunch of grease there, and I turned the heat down. I got the woodcock all peppered and salted up here and wrapped in bacon. I'm going to attempt to set these in there. There we go. One more. I'm just gonna keep it on a real low heat. With the lid on if I can get it to fit. We'll let that cook for a while. I've never cooked woodcock or bacon. I've never cooked hardly anything, so we'll see how it is. Probably flip these once or twice. Try not to let them burn. Alright, so I just rotated these. I'm going to attempt to crack an egg in here. I'm going to need both hands for this. Here we go. We've got a bacon, eggs, and woodcock. If this succeeds, I'm cooking it real slow. Try not to brown it too much till the woodcock's good and cooked, and then we'll brown the bacon off probably. Still got a little while to go. All right, I think these little guys are about done. I kind of browned them off a little bit. I hope it's done anyway. Pull one out and put them over here. Yeah, that's got to be done. They've been in there a good 10, 15 minutes, but mm, that's looking good. Eggs, woodcock and bacon, bacon, toast. Put these other ones on a plate too. Let's go try it out. See if I succeeded in cooking or not. Alright, Abram's going for first bite. Yeah, I'm the guinea pig. He's not brave enough to try Wait. it. Let's see if I can get a better light on here. Um, whoops. What are you doing? Trying to fix the lighting. Alright, there. Eat away. Sorry, the lighting's changing all over. That's just bacon. Tastes like bacon. <laughs> eat the actual woodcock. Mm. They don't want to watch you eat bacon. Bacon's good. Hmm. Definitely a different flavor. It's got that bird flavor, but it's actually a pretty strong flavor. What's it remind me of? It reminds me of a flavor, but I can't think of it right now. I want to say maybe cow heart. Yeah. Kind of strange, <laughs> but it does. I'm going to try it. I don't like cow heart, but I don't think it'll taste like cow heart.
Let me get this flipped around. So mm -hmm. Let me see. Sorry, the lighting ain't great here, but try some of this woodcock. If I can get through the bacon, there's so much bacon on this. There we go. It's good bacon. finger food here. There we go. That's woodcock. Mmm. That's a little different texture. It is. Pretty juicy. Get the toothpick out of it here. I like it. It don't taste like cow heart to me. Not sure if mine's all the way cooked, but yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's bloody. <laughs> yeah, how do you know if it's cooked? Yours is cooked. Really? Yeah. It's cooked enough. That looks cooked to you. It's not actually that bloody. How does it look cooked to you? It was in there for like fifteen minutes. It should be. We're arguing about whether it's cooked or not. I like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I mean. I personally would rather just eat chicken, but yeah, for a game bird, it's okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather chicken or squirrel or something, but I mean, it's not bad. It might be the way I cooked it, too. It's pretty bland, but. I wouldn't say bland. It's got some flavor to it. All right, well, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me eat all this so thanks for watching this episode of up action outdoors um hope you guys enjoyed it um hopefully we'll have more hunting stuff coming out soon we'll please subscribe and give this video a like we'll see you later